Hello, welcome to my video about the cromulence of max penis rods. All of these boys have been torqued to the correct specification using ARP lube. You can see the dregs around the edges of the bolt heads perhaps. Here I have my freshly adjusted Michael meter that I'll be using to cromulate the dial bore gauge. It's important to always use freshly skookumed utensils to avoid errors in your measurements. This is my aesthetically pleasing and dimensionally accurate representation of the bore of a connecting rod. I've drawn some lines on it to represent the various and several axes that I will be measuring in this video. I've also numbered and lettered these lists for keeping my measurements organized. I'll save you the pain of watching me calibrate the dial bore gauge without a vice, but here I'm setting the Michael to 55 millimetrics exactly. After this point you're just going to have to trust me bro. Look, it's done. Through the magic of television it didn't take a whole last 5 minutes to make the damn needle sit on the zero mark. Now, once I've decided on the most aesthetic position to place Michael, we can begin. Starting with A, B and C, working my way through D, E and F, and finally measuring G, H and I, we can get an idea of the specific roundness and squareness of these holes. You can see the bore size tolerance at the top of my high-tech data recording device, but a tolerance for out of round, taper, bell mouthing, barreling or waviness is nowhere to be seen, and there's a reason for that. There's zero tolerance for that kind of nonsense. see at these measurements. Right here we've got 54.998 and 55.008 which gives us a difference of 0.01 millimeters. Almost half of the standard minimum oil clearance. Not to mention that that's a pretty serious taper and out of round. Additionally the measurements on D and I 
are undersized, which is completely out of spec. Over here on number two, which is all over the shop again, we've got 55 flat and 55.009, which is again almost 0.01 millimeters. Number three, just as bad, also all over the shop, and several of the measurements are undersize. Number four is my 3S rod, because I picked up a bunch of them without looking. Most of these are undersized. The majority of these measurements are undersized, which is completely out of spec. And here we've got a difference of 0 0.015, which is the worst one so far. All in all, the big ends of these rods are pretty fucking terrible. I've got two sets of these rods, one for my 5S and one for my 3S. I'll be getting both sets professionally resized, and then I'll re-measure them all as a comparison. Here's something you may not even think about, but it applies to every engine part that you can buy. Watch this. I've sprayed the rag with a bit of WD-40, and I'm just going to wipe down the rod with it. Brand new rod, I only just got it out of the packet, and cleaned all the goo off it with a bit of brake cleaner. You can see the rag is already getting dirty. And it's going to get especially bad once I put it into the, uh, whatever you call these gaps here. See all that shit? If you put the rod into your engine like that, that's going to turn into an abrasive and wear the fuck out of everything. So, final thoughts. Should you buy them? Well, from my experiences today, I'd say that max speeding rods are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. There's a ton of variation between the rods and also within the same rods just in the bores. At the very least, measure them up and make sure they're not completely fucked. If you're only planning on putting them into an already worn engine with some new bearings that you don't really care that much about, I'd say for 300 bucks, go for it. But if you're doing a fresh build and you have to pay someone to blueprint your engine properly, then these things might cost you more than it's worth just to buy a good set in the first place. I would like to get a few more sets to measure up for science and a couple of sets of good quality rods to compare them with, so feel free to send me money or rods. If you don't have either of those, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. Hope you learned something. See you later.